What was it I said at the end of the last video? I wasn't anticipating any problems. Well. Bear's line, a Murphy cub. Finding a perfect home is hard. <laughs> Guy mm. makes it easy. <laughs> Welcome to Man Cave Media. I guess I'm unboxing a graphics card. All right, uh, for those of you who didn't watch the last video and you're not sure what's going on, um, it is very clear to me that my RX 580 has given up the ghost. Uh, may it rest in pieces. But you know what? I bought that thing back in 2017. Uh, it was a refurb from Newegg, and it's been in three different systems. So of all the hardware I have out here that, you know, that has earned the right to call it quits, <laughs> I guess. But the timing was just terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, I had just done all that work and got everything into that new case and got it all set up and everything was nice and beautiful and yeah... Hooking it up to the TV made it give up the ghost, and I don't know, it wasn't acting very strange when I had it in my Mac Pro, so I'm not sure, you know, if this is something that's been creeping, and hooking it up to a 4K display finally just put it over the top, or what it was, but uh, anyhow, uh, uh, XFX right here in this box, a Radeon RX 6600. Um, Nothing new, this card's been out for a little bit. Uh, plenty of uh, benchmarking videos and everything like that out there, but this is what I picked to replace my uh, ill-fated RX 580. And so let's go ahead and get out of the box, shall we? So uh, I will uh, run a few benchmarks and all that once I get it installed, even though you know I did just mention you know this card's been out for a minute. Uh, there's lots of videos out there on it. Um, well aware of its performance capabilities, uh, but just for shits and grins, uh, I will run some benchmarks so you can see how it performs with the hardware that I have in that case. And yeah, um, XFX, uh, this is kind of a, a second chance, so to speak. When I upgraded the GPU in my main gaming PC, XFX was the card that I was looking at, but I couldn't find one in the price that I, uh, but I couldn't find a 6750 for the price that I wanted to pay, and so that's why I ultimately went with Power Color. Um, so this time around, I was looking for something local that I could go pick up, because you know time was of the essence with this particular project. And uh, Best Buy had this one in stock on sale for $219, which was pretty good price. Uh, the next cheapest one that I could have got. Uh, uh, from Newegg, and that would have been a little bit more of a drive for me to go pick that up from Newegg, but uh, Newegg had an ASRock for 209 so that was the next cheapest one. So this one was available at Best Buy, which is down the street from where I work, and so I opted for this. And I really like the design of their graphics cards, uh, speaking of XFX. Uh, I really like the design, so uh, yeah, the ASRock one kind of looks, you know, yoked out like it's been in the roids too much. That's, you know, classic look for cheap graphics cards. Um, the XFX looks a little bit more toned down, a little more civilized, uh, something that it fits the aesthetic of the build a little better than the ASRock. But, uh, you know, enough waffle. Um, I will put links in the description down below so you can see all the specs and everything of this guy. Um, but let's go ahead and get it out of the box, shall we? Been talking enough. So yes, I did. Uh, I cheated and I peeked in here a little bit before I recorded this video uh, because like I just mentioned, Best Buy is down the street from my house and I wanted to make sure that everything was in order before I brought it home. All right, immediately we have stop important driver information. Uh, it's just telling you that there's no disc included with the product, blah, blah, blah. We have a XFX warranty card and what looks like a quick start and troubleshooting guide. Very simple, nothing nearly like the power color unboxing I had a couple months ago, but is what it is. Here's the card itself. Let 
actually let's leave that open for a moment. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away in it. The card itself is pretty light. Um, here, I'm gonna use this foam block just so I don't set it on the table. The card itself is very light compared to my power color, 6750. The power color card is just a beast, but still weight, weight uh, difference right off the bat is very noticeable. Um, so this is what I was talking about by the design aesthetic. It's very clean, very toned down. You know, it's not all in your face. <laughs> Like a lot of gaming stuff is, uh, especially uh, affordable graphics cards seem to be like, pow, look at me. Uh, this is more like a very toned down uh, look that I really, really like. So uh, the fan shroud is plastic and it's covered, it comes covered with this uh, protective plastic sheet. I'll peel that off in a moment. And the back plate is also plastic. So just an FYI, if you were curious. Let's do some peels. Kind of unsatisfying on that. Peels aren't just, you know, peels are just not what they used to be, man. Wait, is it? No, it is plastic. Yeah, I swear I read that it's plastic, but it feels, it feels pretty cool to the touch. I think, I think I misread that. I think this is metal. Oh my goodness. Where's the end of this? I don't have all night, guys. There we go. Once you get it started, that comes up rather nicely. Yeah, much better. So on the faceplate, you have the XFX logo. Uh, it has... It has one, two, three display port and one HDMI. Which is a fairly standard for a 6600. And, I mean, there's not really much to say. This is a dual fan cooler design. You can see that the PCB actually ends right there. So the rest of this is all heat sink. This is a budget graphics card. So, you see it's got some, uh, uh, so we see two heat pipes here on the side. There's the fan connector. Uh, on the other side, there's the, uh, the single eight pin connector for power. And then it does have a over, is that an overclock button? What is that? Uh, the writing on the outside is just white. It says Radeon XFX, very clean. Uh, like I said, that's one of the things I like the most about this card is uh, how clean it is. And like I mentioned, you know, unlike other graphics cards in this price point, it's not all in your face, like, doesn't look like something that spends too much time at the gym. <laughs> it's uh, it's much more subtle. So anyhow, enough talking about it. Uh, let's go ahead and let's go get it in the rig and see how it looks, see how it runs. Um, I will run uh, Cinebench uh, just for grins. Like I said, this is not this is nothing new. So um, performance wise, I pretty so performance wise, I pretty much know what to expect out of it. But um, we'll do it anyway, just for grins. And then uh, I'll give you my final thoughts. Let's go. All right, got the new 6600 in there. Just gotta plug it in. There's the RX 580. Of course, it's backwards from the RX 580 because it can't be easy, All right? All right, got everything set up, plugged in. Let's go ahead and See if that fixed the problem. Uh, 
All right, the Rizzo is absolute garbage. Clearly we need to update some drivers here really quick, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, there it is. Drivers are updated. 6,600 now installed. Rocking and rolling. All right, we're gonna run a little Cinebench just for funsies. Pretty much know what the 6600 is uh, capable of, but let's do it anyway. Go. All right, all done. There's the score. Nothing new. It does sound like the fans are running a little extra loud. I wonder if it's still having some kind of driver update. I'm gonna check on that in a moment. All right, so that was a pretty straightforward install. Uh, I didn't have any issues. Uh, drivers loaded right away. And uh, a question that <laughs> one of my coworkers asked me, and so I wanted to clarify it right now in, uh, in the video. Yes, I did try a different cable. <laughs> uh, yes, I did try messing around with the uh, with the resolution settings and making sure that everything was fine. It wasn't trying to force a, a higher refresh rate than my TV could handle. I, I checked all that stuff out. Um, as soon as I swapped the card, the flickering stopped, all that funny business went away. And so 99.999% uh, certain uh, this poor guy just gave up the ghost. And uh, as I mentioned early in this video, if anything in my house is uh due or not due uh if anything in my house has an excuse to give up <laughs> to uh to surrender so to speak it's uh it's this rx 580 uh, i bought this refurbished from new egg in 2017 and it's been in three different builds it's been a, a pretty good workhorse so you know i'm not even that mad uh it was it was poor timing. I just spent all that money on the case. Uh, I just spent all that money on the case and the hard drive and you know the the AIO. So it was it was poor timing. But what are you gonna do? So uh, I didn't do any gaming benchmarks. Uh, as I mentioned, if you watched my my review of the Tower Two Hundred, uh, you'll hear me mention that I don't really use my HTPC for gaming much. Uh, I do occasionally do the remote play with uh, my PlayStation 5. And every once in a while, when I want to play a game that's not compatible with my Steam Deck, and I don't want to come out here to my office, I will on occasion use my HTPC for that, but it's a very rare thing, and usually it's a super old game. <laughs> um, so I didn't do any gaming benchmarks. Uh, that card is not new. It's not a, you know... Uh, a new release or anything. There's plenty of benchmarking videos out there if that's what you're looking for. Um, this is just simply, uh, it, admittedly, uh, overkill for my needs, obviously. Uh, again, if you watched my review of the Tower 200, uh, my HTPC is primarily a file server and a Plex server. So yes, um, the RX 6600 is way overkill. I'm aware of that, but I like to overbuild things so that you know, that, that setup will last me a very long time, and I won't have any issues with it. Plus, uh, a lot of that stuff is hand-me-downs from my, from my main rig that's in here, and so that's why it's, it's very overbuilt. But uh, going with the 6600 to replace the RX 580, I know that that thing will last years and years for, for my purposes. So that's why I tend to overbuild them. I know it was overkill for my needs, though. But, all right, uh, so final farewell, old friend. Thank you for your services. You have been relieved. All right, that's all I have for this one. Thank you again for stopping by. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and help feed that algorithm. I hope you have a great evening, and like always, thank you for watching.